Good morning, I've got my Instant Pot out for breakfast this morning because I'm gonna make some steel cut oats. I have been wanting to try this for a long time and just haven't because um, I usually do steel cut oats on the stove top and we love it. I think I'm partly afraid that doing it in the Instant Pot it won't be as good and as creamy as when I do it on the stove top, but it is pretty time consuming to do it on the stove, so I think this will be a nice and quick method. So I have my recipe down here. I just need to add water. Uh, see, my stove top recipe uses milk, but in the comments down below it says that a lot of people said that the milk ended up burning, so I think I'm just gonna do water. We'll try that. Steel cut oats, salt, cinnamon, and honey. So. We'll try this, see how it turns out. All my ingredients are in, so I'm gonna give it a big stir. Then I'll put my lid on, and this needs to pressure cook for four minutes. So manual, four minutes. This has been naturally releasing pressure for 10, or I guess 11 minutes now. So I'm just going to release that pressure. Okay, that's all cooked. Whew, that's hot, that is hot. All right, um, I sliced up a bunch of peaches, we had a bunch of fresh peaches, so I'm just gonna add that right into my Instant Pot. And then I'm also just gonna slice up a banana. I'm just gonna add a bit of milk in right now too. Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm having breakfast with the kids here. We have more milk, I'm sure we'll want more milk in there, and then orange juice to drink. We just gotta get out vitamins and we're ready to start eating. Where's Wesley? The one that's been so hungry waiting for breakfast, right? Okay, so what's the verdict? <laughs> what's the verdict on this oatmeal? It's really good. Zara? I, I don't love it, but I don't <laughs> You don't love it, but you don't hate it, okay? Simeon, you like it okay? Yeah? Elijah, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> you love it? Okay, good. All right, so here are my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. It's really good. It is not as good as the one that I make in the stove top. Do you guys agree with me? No. They don't agree with me? Okay, the one I make in the stove top is super creamy and I know the reason for that is because of the milk that I cook the oats in. So I think if I did that in the Instant Pot, if I cooked it in milk, it would be just as good and just as creamy. So maybe next time, maybe I'll try. I'll try adding milk to it and see if it burns, <laughs> see if it works, because it is really yummy. I agree with the kids, it is really yummy, but it would be, I do prefer the creaminess of the usual recipe I use. I like how the peaches aren't all soggy. <laughs> the peaches aren't all soggy? That has nothing to do with the, the recipe I used. The peaches I aren't soggy when I do it in the other work. one. Yes, they are, kind of. Not really. Maybe they cook a little more? I don't more. hate it, I don't, I don't know. love it, so I just like it. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I got my morning coffee poured and we are just about to head out the door. So I just got our lunches prepped. I didn't show you the process, but I will show you what we're having for lunch. For the kids' lunches, I just did these cheese bagels, mayonnaise, ham and cheese. My two oldest love mustard, this one and this one. <laughs> they each have their own, their own container with their own animal lid. Uh, but the rest of them is just uh, mayonnaise, ham and cheese and their sandwiches. We did some cucumber slices and then just some of these cookies. I don't know, they're just like a dark chocolate biscuit. And then I also grabbed some apple sauces. I was gonna put it in their lunch boxes, but like it's not gonna fit. So if they're hungry for anything more, I'll bring applesauce, pouches along. For my lunch, my lunch, I decided to go low carb today. So 
Uh, we just have cucumbers, cheese strings, and then I just rolled up some ham in there. And then I also have some nuts. It looks like a pretty small lunch. I was gonna boil some eggs, but I ran out of time, and so that's gonna be my lunch. I'm sure I'll be hungry for an earlier afternoon snack. Uh, and then I filled our water bottles. We throw all of this into our big cooler bag, and we're good to go. For my snack, I am just going to slice up this apple into my bowl, and then I'm gonna put some of this Greek yogurt on top, and then some of this homemade granola that is delicious. This whole combo is so delicious. I haven't seen a lot of the kids. They've had pretty independent play this afternoon. I just had <clears throat> a little taste of granola and it stuck in my throat. Uh, but I do also have the lunch bag still on the floor since we got home. And I think some of the kids still have just a little bit of their lunch left over as well. So if they're hungry, they'll grab that. I'll come back and show you if they have anything else this afternoon. Um, I was going to see something else, the granola. So this granola, I make this recipe a lot. It's a pretty healthy, hearty granola and it's so yummy. Now, I have looked, I looked for the recipe so that I can share a link to the recipe in my description box in the past, but I cannot seem to find the exact recipe that I use. So I did, found, I did find this recipe online, but it was quite a few years ago now, and I wrote it down into my recipe book. If you Google homemade granola, you will find some great recipes, I'm sure, but if you really, really want this recipe that I use, shoot me an email and I will send you a picture of the recipe I have written down. I don't feel like typing it all out into my description box. Maybe I'm a little bit lazy, but if you want that, email me. You can find my email down below in my description box. And that way I will send you the picture of the exact recipe I use. Wow, that took a long time to explain. You want an apple? It's huge. It is, it is a huge apple. For dinner tonight, I am making some veggie fried or chicken fried rice. I am really looking forward to this meal because one, I just love it. It's so tasty. Two, I haven't made it in a long, long time. I have some leftover chicken breast that was barbecued two nights ago. I feel like the last like three full day of food videos I have showed meat that is like leftover. We do often cook up meat and just cook up extra so that we'll have extra. It makes the, the following meal so much easier if I don't have to cook meat, especially for a dish like this. I love to have meat already cooked that I don't have to cook up with the meal. But I'll show you the process of how I make this dish. It is definitely something that Andrew and I enjoy more than the kids enjoy. Um, the older ones, I think, will like it. My older kids definitely are as I tell them, they're getting their grown up taste buds because some meals that are more like adult type meals, they are starting to enjoy more. My younger kids probably won't like it that much, but I was just pulling this out of the fridge because I wanted to show you that as I'm cooking dinner, I am going to drink a sparkling water. I do want one more coffee as well. I'll probably, I'll have this and then I'll have my coffee after or after supper or something, but I will take you along and show you the process of making this meal. First off, I just have some water in here that is almost boiling. When that boils, I am going to add some rice. That will cook for a little while. Over here, I've got my onion and garlic. I'm gonna chop not all of this garlic, probably two cloves of this garlic and the onion. Uh, fry that up in my pan in some olive oil. And then here's my chicken. I don't need to add this nearly yet. It's chicken breast on bone, but that's just kind of what I have prepped so far. My rice has been cooking for a little while here, but I also just chopped up a bunch of carrots and I wanna make sure that, you know, those will take a little while to cook. So I'm just gonna add those to the rice and that can all just cook together. I'll give that a good stir. Put that lid partially on again. 
Now in this pan, I have got some olive oil as well as my garlic and onion. So I'm just gonna saute that until, until the onions are translucent and then I will add my eggs. Now to this hot pan, I have eight eggs here I'm going to add. So I just start by putting them all in as if I'm going to be just frying them. Now I'm gonna kind of scramble them. So I'm just gonna take my wooden spoon. I'm also adding some pepper. Okay, can you see now? <laughs> I had to really wipe off my lens because it got so foggy from all the steam. But my eggs are cooked now and I have turned off my stove top, turned off my element, so that's gonna sit. My rice is almost done and I'm gonna start chopping up my chicken. I added the chicken in with those veggies. And then in here, I just added some peas. The rice and carrots are about done, so I just added peas in uh, right at the end here. I actually think I am going to turn this element off now, let it sit for about five minutes, and then I add all of that into this big pan. Here's the exciting part to see it. My rice and veggies here. You know what, I'm gonna, drain a little bit of that extra water. We're gonna see if all of this rice and veggies will fit. I think we're good. Um, I would usually add corn, and man, this is so good with corn. And corn is one of those things, frozen corn, I always have on hand. I always have it in the freezer during the winter, and I thought maybe I still had some, but I don't. The corn just adds a nice sweetness to this dish, but I, do not have any corn, so peas and carrots will have to do as the veggies in here. So I'm gonna give this a good stir, and then my last step is going to be to add some soy sauce. I'm gonna be pretty generous here with the soy sauce. It is a lot of food too. All right, we'll try that much. This smells so good. It's also like quarter after six. And so I'm so hungry. The kids are just watching a quick show before supper. That's why it's pretty quiet in the background. Or maybe it's not pretty quiet. Maybe you can hear the show playing too. I don't know. But it's been a nice, peaceful dinner making time for me. I'm listening to a podcast and it's been nice. But now it is time to eat. And this looks delicious. My face is very flushed, like I just spent the last little while in a warm kitchen because that's what I did. But I just poured myself my last, focus, my last, why aren't you focusing? My last coffee for the day. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.